सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम इन दिस वीडियो विल सी एन कैश डिटेक्टर दैट इज रेकिन के के जी एक्स सिक्स थाउजेंड सो बेसिकली विल टॉक अबाउट थ्री थिंग्स इन दिस हाउ टू सेलेक्ट डिफरेंट वी ओ सी इन दिस हाउ टू डू स्पैन गैस कैलिब्रेशन एंड वट आर द डिफरेंट मॉडल्स ऑफ दिस जी एक्स सिक्स थाउजेंड सो दिस गैस डिटेक्टर इज प्रेजेंट ऑन केमिकल टैंकर्स रीजन बींग इट नॉट जस्ट अ मल्टी गैस डिटेक्टर बट ऑल्सो इन टॉक्सिक गैस डिटेक्टर hence if you are having this equipment on board and if you are carrying toxic cargoes if it can detect those toxic gases then you would not be required to have dragger tubes on board but remember whenever you carry a toxic cargo first check whether it can detect those toxic gases or not most of the toxic gases yes it can detect it can detect around 1000 gases but still whenever you get instruction to load the cargo check whether it can have or it can detect those gases or not if it cannot detect then yes we would request for dragger tube but if it can detect those toxic gases then we would not be required to have dragger tube we can detect those toxic gases with the help of this equipment only so here i'll make an another alarm line at present my ship is navigating so i'll use this alarm line over here and i'll so here if i have to show you other than your four multi gases this is the list of toxic gases which it can detect it is given in alphabetical order and it goes on till letter x so here you can see this is the main screen where you can see those are top four gases those are multi gases which a normal multi gas detector detects and at the bottom on the left side you can see this is voc this is the reading for the toxic gas for which it is selected to at present so it does not name the toxic gas but let us just see which toxic gas it is selected at present and how do we change to select a toxic gas we have to press air and shift then press display and one more time press display now here it will list that pid select to menthol so menthol is the present gas which it is selected in this gas detector and for that it was showing reading if i press enter here you can see in alphabetical order j k l m n o p q r in such alphabetical order it is listing out all those toxic gases which it can detect so let us see if you want to select any gas from p i'll press enter and here you can see paraffin wax paraffin and pentanol and pentane and so many gases it is showing by up and down key button we can uh, toggle through so let's see if we want to select phenol phenol is the cargo which we are going to carry and we want to select that gas so i'll i'll come to that i'll press enter and it will say that voc switch to phenol so this is the gas which we are going to select i'll again press let me just show you phenol and enter so now phenol is the gas for which it will show the reading at the main screen so let i'll just exit from this now here in the left column voc if we detect anything that will be showing for phenol and in such a order we can select or deselect any gas so if again if i want to change to menthol so let press air and shift press display again press display i'll press enter and now again if i want to come back to menthol i'll go to m press enter and select over here menthol so that's how we can change the gas now menthol is selected now if i'll exit over from here now in voc column it will show the reading for menthol so that's how we can select those gases in this gx6000 now next to do the span gas calibration there are two types of calibration that is multi gas calibration and voc calibration first to do a multi gas calibration this is the bottle or this is the multi gas which we will use to calibrate this coh2 s hc and you can read out the readings by pausing the video if you want to this bottle will use to do the calibration for all the sensor except for voc sensor so now to enter into calibration mode press display and shift button now here it will show air calibration auto calibration single gas calibration normal mode now whenever we are going for any operation or whenever we are going for any calibration we always have to do air calibration so i entered into air mode now here this is the screen which it is showing now to do the air calibration i have to press the air button again 
and I'll have to keep it press till it says release key. So let me press it, hold air key, I'll keep it press, air zero adjusted and release air key. That's it. Now air calibration is done. Now we can continue with our multi gas calibration or multi sensor calibration. Now next I'll choose auto calibration over here. Here it asks concentration and gas select. So first I'll select the gas. Let me just come down enter. So O2 12% H2S 25 CO 50 or VOC 100. Now out of these two we can do the calibration. For VOC this is the bottle isobutylene 100 ppm. This bottle we have to use for VOC calibration that is for toxic gases calibration. For multi gas this is the bottle that is CO 50 ppm H2S 25 ppm and so on O2 12% and balances N2. So this so I'll do calibration for these sensor O2, H2S and CO these three sensors. I just have to insert this tube over here. Now you can do this calibration or it is recommended that you must do this calibration with a bag air sampling bag but I'm inserting it directly from the regulator. So now it is into the calibration for that multi gas. Now here you have to do this calibration either for 30 seconds or till the time you see readings near about to the span gas bottle. So one of the two 30 seconds or near about to those readings. So once you are sure that the readings are almost near to the gas bottle readings just press enter as you can see over here CO is 49 in my meter now it is showing 50 which is uh, close to the bottle reading O2 is 12 percent H2S is 25 now all readings are actually matching so I'll just press enter and here it is showing pass so that's it with calibration of these multi gases sensors now to the calibration for VOC I have to take out the isobutylene bottle and again this also we have to do the calibration through the sampling bag only air bags but I'm doing this directly from the regulator just for one one time now once I've opened this again we have to wait for 30 seconds or till the time the readings are stabilized so around 99 the readings are stabilized so now I can press enter now it is passed so that's how we do calibration for both multi gases and for views so next we'll see what are the different types of GX6000 which can be available on board so here you can see we are seeing two different models of GS6000 which are completely different from the one which we have seen in the video earlier so here in these two models the multi gases and the VOC are detected separately so it is not a combination one like in the earlier video we have seen that the one meter will show both multi gas and VOC but here the left hand side gas meter will show only multi gases while the right hand side gas meter will show VOC so these are two complete different meters and hence their calibration is also little bit different by the looks of it you cannot identify that which one is VOC only meter or which one is only multi gas detector or which one is combination of both uh, VOC and multi gas so let me just switch it on and show it to you I'll press power button and switch it on now over here you can see on the left hand side meter it is only showing those four gases which is shown in multi gas CH4, O2, H2S and CO only those four gases and while this right hand side meter this is only showing VOC it will not show multi gases so that's why I wanted to show you that it might be possible that on your ship you might have the separate separate meter as well you might have it on board so now in this VOC gas meter if you want to change the VOC gas we have to press display and here at present as it is showing that octane 1 is selected now to change press enter now same in alphabetical order it will show all the gases whichever is the gas you want to select we can select so let's say we will come over here let's say we want to select naphthenol press enter it will show this is the gas again press enter and that gas is selected you want to come out just press reset so at present that naphthenol gas is selected and that is being next we'll see how to do calibration in these meters because in these meters unlike the 
previous one where I have shown if I press display and shift the calibration mode is not coming so again you can see I pre am pressing display and shift the calibration mode is not coming in these meters so in such a case what we have to do is if you can see over here if I will press any other button display power or any other button if I will press the calibration won't, mode won't come so in such a case what we have to do is we will switch it off and then from there I will show you how to enter into a calibration mode. Now after switching off air, shift and power, all three we have to press together. And keep it pressed. So now if you want we can go into maintenance. Password is for GX6000 the password is 006. So enter, enter, enter. This is the password we have entered. Enter. So here, this is the gas calibration. We'll press enter. We want air calibration, auto calibration, single calibration. So we want auto calibration. Enter. Concentration. It will ask. So this is the concentration of gas. Then you can go gas select. Enter. Once you have done that, again we can do the calibration. Open the bottle valve and connect it to here. So that's how we will do calibration in these meter where shift and display button is not working. So we have to go to maintenance mode and do the calibration for both of these gas meter VOC and multi gas.